What's going on, Hustlers? Back at you guys with another video. So today we're going to be doing something a little different, something that I'm actually quite excited to be doing. You see a lot of these on YouTube. I believe GQ popular made this popular, if I'm not mistaken, but they probably stole it from somebody. But today we're going to be discussing the 10 things that I cannot live without. So the first of which is going to be this bad boy right right here all right i live and die by this thing um if you follow me on instagram you see me talk about this um if you've listened to any like interview if you listen to my most recent podcast that i did with jack hopkins um i talked about this this is my 10x planner this is actually made yeah it says it here by i don't know if you guys can see that by grant cardone yeah so um i live and by, die by this thing all my goals are in here. I have like a box full of every single one that I've completed. I'm actually almost done with this one. I think I've only got like three or four pages left. Yeah, this one will be done by like Thursday of this week. Um, I love this thing because it helps me organize my day. So it literally is like 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., 12 p.m. or 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., um 3 p.m to 6 p.m 6 p.m to 9 p.m right so i literally live and die by this thing helps me organize my day and then i write down my goals twice a day um so i write down my goals in the morning and then i write down my targets for the day and then i write down my successes for the day and then i also write down my goals again at the end of the day um so sometimes when i'm really really overwhelmed or i just feel like i have a lot going on like kind of like how my life has been for the past couple days um i can kind of just look at this and then see what i wrote down the night before and then just focus on like banging those things out one at a time. Um, and then like sometimes if I need to prioritize things or I'm losing perspective, I just come here and then it says targets for the day, right? So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff to do, but I really only have like five main targets, right? So it's like if I get all of those targets completed, then today was a win. I made progress towards my goals, right? So pretty much this thing keeps me level headed. Um, it helps me not feel overwhelmed. And then it helps me build positive momentum by pretty much writing down my goals, you know, every single day. The next thing is this bad boy right here. So my Mercedes Benz. I'm so damn proud of this thing because this was like the first car that I ever like bought like on my own, like financed. Um, and I put some cash down and I bought it at like a very interesting time in my life. Um, this was like when I first started making money from government contracting and I bought this car and then I literally was just like feeling like such a baller and other people wanted this car. It was on the showroom floor and I was leaving to Europe and then I was like, dude, I'm just going to give you like an additional like $4,000 cash. This is my car. Give me the title now before I leave. I'll come pick it up when I get back from backpacking through Europe. I'll see you in a month. Um, so yeah. It's a W204. I'll throw up a picture of it. It's a coupe. So you see a lot of W204s on the road, um, but you don't see a lot of W204 coupes on the road. And then in terms of like my car specifically, it's actually a very limited edition. And then I also have Chrome Delete. Um, I have like niche rims on there. Um, it's stage two, cat deleted, downpipe. So it's a, it's a four banger. It's a 1.8 liter four cylinder, but it's turbocharged. And it actually has more horsepower. It's a C250, basically, for those of you guys that don't know. And it has more horsepower than a C350 4Matic does. So, and then also, if you know anything about Mercedes, you know that they no longer make C350s. They only make like 300s, 400s, and, and 550s. But for C classes and E classes, a lot of that stuff is capped at like 250 to 270 horsepower, depending on the model. I get 275 to the wheel, and my car is a coupe, so it's lighter. So um, I actually own the fastest Mercedes in my in my family's driveway, which I'm I'm very happy about. That's like a little bit of a little bit of bragging rights. But third thing is my watches. I have always been interested in watches, but I've recently now I'm in a position to like start collecting them, and I've been doing a lot of research and learning about them. Right. So this right here was actually um, my most recent purchase. This is an Aura, this is a boutique watch. This basically looks like a Patek and an AP had a baby. Yeah, look at that. So you can see all the internal movement on it, which I love. Um, and then it's open case back as well, which is very unique. And then it's rose gold, which 
to me is a bit it's it's flashy but it's not ridiculous also with my skin tone it doesn't like stick out a lot um so yeah this is this is like my new like daily watch um and then my next personal watch will be a cartier santos however um kind of just what i have on the agenda is my dad's 50th birthday is coming up so um i've actually been in talks with the authorized dealer to get him um a sky king just you know aviation heritage and then my mom's 50th is like 10 days later so she wants a two-tone date just so um i'll be getting both of them rolexes before i you know get myself any any brand name watches so this was my previous daily which is it's a seiko chronograph 100 meter and the reason why i like this one is because it was given to me by my dad um so it's very very special a lot of sentimental value um but if you look like if you know what if you understand watches you understand complications and the thing that i like about this is the three complications on here are vertical instead of all just being like horizontal towards the bottom of the face so i really like this this one's very unique and also you can't find this watch anymore like you can't find it online um seiko chronograph 100 meters are available but not this not this specific model that has the complications vertical. And I quite like this one because um, it's sporty. So you can pretty much wear it with whatever. Fourth thing that I, I cannot live without, my hats. So this one, you guys have definitely seen. This one gets a lot of use. This is probably my favorite hat because you can only get this at the Delta Airlines Museum in Atlanta. And then this pin, um i got when i the day i signed my contract with delta so you can literally only like this is like delta lore like you will never see another human being walking around with this hat i don't want to say never but i've never seen anybody else walking around with this and i've been around this airline for like 20 years and i've been to atlanta probably 30 40 50 times been to the museum like four or five times you don't see this hat i've never seen it i love it because it's got the cord and then the pin and then this bad boy right here, which is, it's kind of beat up right now, but that's okay. Um, this is, this is like my cowboy hat, which I love because I can wear it like when I go to the beach, I wear it when I'm on the boat, I wear it when I run marathons, um, I wear it when I'm like chilling, like if I'm going to like a nature preserve or something. Um, and yeah, it really just like encapsulates like my, my vibe. Um, just, you know, I'm a cowboy hat wearing, gun slinging contract winning money printing son of a gun uh, but yeah i just really love this hat it's super versatile um i don't really have to worry about it getting like beat up like i can kind of just do whatever and then it'll kind of hold its hold its shape it protects my face um and it's kind of just like my signature piece now it's just like rocking this hat literally just like my signature piece protects my face fifth thing that i cannot live without is this bad boy right here so a second phone so I actually got this when I was leaving Koh Samui on my way back to Bangkok. So I got this in Thailand and I got a deal on it, but I, I knew I was going to need a second phone anyways, just because business has gotten like so busy and so big that literally like to, to make sure all the operations are running smoothly. Like I just need a second phone because if somebody texts me on my personal cell mentally, if I just don't have the bandwidth for it, I will just ignore it and set a reminder to reply to it in like 10 minutes. Whereas with this, if I don't have the bandwidth to reply to it, I can just leave it as unmarked. And then I literally will like dedicate like 20 minutes of every single day to just going through and answering like all my old messages um, from clients and stuff like that. So I pretty much run my whole business off of, off of this. Um, so yeah, the sixth thing that I cannot, I cannot live without is this bad boy right here my carhartt duffel bag so this was actually a gift um this was actually a gift i got um from my dad we did a secret santa during christmas and he got me so this carhartt duffel bag i i actually get compliments on this like literally every single trip that i go on people are like wow what a what a nice bag super durable super well put together um i just love this this bag it's basically like a weekend bag. I was gonna get a very nice designer bag. Like I was gonna get a Goyard or a Louis V, which I probably will, but I just don't really have a need for it. Um, and you can go to like any like nice hotel or something. And this is like a very respectable bag. Like it's very well put together. The color, the, the color palette of the brown is just very nice. Like if you give me this bag and then the rest of the stuff on this list, like I'm, 
I'm pretty sovereign. Like if you put me anywhere in the world and I just have like this bag and this stuff, like I'm, I can, I can pretty much live like my whole life. Um, it holds like three or four pairs of shoes, holds like five or six days worth of clothes, my toiletry bag, my laptop, like pretty much you can, you can travel for like probably months at a time with just, with just that bag. Now, speaking of bags and i want to credit not just jack hopkins but pretty much all my homies in the uk that i i was with um in in thailand cross body bags so this is my montclair one and then i have my i have my prada one so the prada one is very sleek it's got the silver buckles um and it's very under underspoken like undertones like it says prada on the strap here but it's not like in your face like obnoxious literally can hold my sunglasses so i'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that i normally keep in here so my sunglasses for the most part what'll go in here is like my wired headphones so um i think wired headphones may be making a comeback but i just instantly trust anybody more that uses wired headphones over like exclusively Bluetooth headphones. Um, this bad boy, which I freaking love. So this is my Alexander McQueen wallet. And I got this like almost a year ago now. And the quality is just so damn good on this thing. Like, and I think I have like seven or eight cards in here. Like you can keep up to like probably 10 cards in this, but I normally don't do carry that much. But when I'm traveling in other countries, I will get cash and you can keep like, I don't know, probably like 1K USD if you have it in all 20s. Yeah, I definitely think that like, you know, buying designer items is worth it if you actually have a need for the item. Um, and there's actually like a use case for it as I like to call it. Now, with my Prada bag, this is a bit more understated. I will typically just rock this one um, if I'm just like hanging out with my family or like if I'm going to like the gun range or something like that, like just something a bit more understated, holds my holds both my phones, holds my wallet, holds my keys, holds my sunglasses, pretty chill. Now, the thing about the Montclair bag is this thing and the leather on it is just like phenomenal. But this thing, it has this front pocket, which you can remove and opens up, right? And then you can also put quite a bit of stuff in here um which i absolutely love the next thing that i can't live without is my gun my sig p365 macro um i recently got it i've always been interested in guns i'm an american i'm exercising my second amendment right i live in florida we live in a state where you don't need a concealed carry weapon um you just always need to have protection on you plus shooting is fun plus um i kind of just think like why not be proficient in a skill that you never know if you might if you might have to use when you have a pole on you your thought process is like okay how do i de-escalate the situation and like remove myself and just walk away from this guy or this threat so that way i don't have to use it so you start thinking about ways to de-escalate situations um a lot more um when it comes to when it comes to you know walking around with with your gun now the last thing that I, I absolutely cannot live without, also I'm kind of cheating here, is my shoes. If you told me I only had two shoes for the rest of my life, the first pair would be these. These are my New Balance Fresh Foam 1080s. So these to me are actually, and these are um, Fresh Foam 1080s version 13s, by the way. These to me are the greatest running shoe ever created. Um, so I've put um almost 500 miles on these like probably like yeah a little around 500 miles on these and they're still holding up decently well actually um they don't look super beat you know um on the on the soles the fresh foam literally just feels like you're running on a cloud but they're not like fucking hoka clifton nines which are dog shit by the way i don't think anybody should be running long distances in those shoes like if you're going to be an endurance runner i would not recommend hoka clifton nines if you're going to run like 5ks fine maybe 10ks but if you're going to get to the point where you're doing like 50 miles plus a week, even 40 miles plus a week i wouldn't be running in hoka clifton nines um but these feel like a cloud um the toe box is super wide so i really don't get blisters when i'm wearing like the proper socks the way that the laces are um 
like you get very nice heel lock on these like these to me are the running shoe that i would recommend for for everybody um i freaking love these shoes and the way that they fit because it's mesh on the top but the weight like the way that the shoe is there's like another net inside of here as you pull the the string so it molds to your foot and then these bad boys right here my freaking Travis Scott Air Force Ones, dude. I freaking love this shoe because this shoe goes with literally everything. People see people see me wearing them and they're always like, oh my God, the Travis Scott Air Force Ones. This is not a common shoe at all. Like you will very rarely see anybody like wearing this. Like word to uh, V's, you said, don't try to look for the drip that I'm rocking. This shit too hard to find is something like Bin Laden. Yeah, you, you guys can't find you guys can't find the drip that I'm rocking, but they just like hold up super nicely and I just absolutely love this shoe. Um I wear it in the airport, I wear it with suits. Like I wear this with suits and I get compliments. I wear this when I go out to the bar and I get compliments. I literally wear this like walking around to do some shopping, I get compliments on this shoe. This shoe is just and it's a conversation piece too because it's super hard to find. A lot of people can't get this. Um, I actually got this from a shoe store in Manhattan on New Year's. Um, so yes, just super hard to find. Very unique shoe too with the color palette. So I just am absolutely in love with, with, with the shoe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. I hope you guys like this kind of style of video. Um, this was like a more unique like kind of personality video but this is like the kind of stuff that i really enjoy making i love talking about the government contracting stuff but i really enjoy this stuff so thank you guys so much for tuning in hustlers let's go get those dollars